Welcome back to the shop today, guys. Today's a new day, and uh, sun's shining, snow's melting, so you know it's it's going to be good. I mean, we'll probably get hit with more snow yet, but who knows. Uh, if you're just joining us here today, we are working on our welding cart. This is the frame that we tacked up last time. It is for our Prime Weld TIG 225 and tank, etc. cetera. Uh, in my last video, I showed you what I was doing with my wheels. I picked up some casters. I got these wheels off the back of an old barbecue, and they got the shiny hubcaps, so you know, balling. But I first got to final weld this up. So I'm going to get the TIG set up and we're going to final weld this guy. going pretty well uh, this is probably one of my better welds here uh, it's not looking too bad had some sort of decontamination there but uh, it's getting better I mean a uh, little bit of weird angles for a guy who's just starting but you know it's working and I'm pumped it's starting to look good and it's penetrating well so I think we're in good shape uh, at least it seems to be penetrating well we'll find out when this thing falls apart in the middle of the night but anyways, I got two more spots I'm gonna quickly weld up and then we'll start looking at the wheels and see how we can get those mounted. So here's a shot of it on the cart. I just finished welding up all the corners. Uh, this is what it's gonna be looking like when it's done, only it'll be a little higher because of the wheels. I think I showed this in the last video, but it's a nice height. Uh, so I can reach the, reach the knobs kind of at hip height kind of thing. But like I said, it's gonna be about three or four inches higher when it's done. So uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's not too wobbly. Now that I final welded it, she's pretty good. There's a little bit of a, uh, it's a little wobbly at the bottom. Something's not quite square, but uh, I don't really care. It'll be fine. It's straight enough. Uh, it's not gonna be too tippy. Um, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I think the weight of it will actually push onto the wheels a little bit, at least I hope. If not, I can shim up the wheels a little bit. So I'm gonna get going on what I'm gonna do for the wheels. Uh, like I said, I have barbecue wheels I'm gonna put on the back and then I got some casters to put on the front and we'll see how we're gonna mount those. Okay guys, wheels are installed. I forgot to film when you put it on the back wheels, but imagine angle iron holding a little axle for a barbecue wheel, and there you go. This is what we ended up with. It's looking pretty sharp, still pretty stable for what it is. The whole unit is a little narrow. I might change that. I might one day take these uh, these front casters and whoop, pop them out a little bit. But uh, it's a nice height. Now it's a little higher. I don't know if you can really tell from what it was, but now it's, well, the 
I don't know, above my hip height now. I don't know, but it's actually, I like this height better. So, uh, so far so good. I'm liking the way it's looking. It's, I guess it's looking the way I anticipated, so that's good. But uh, now I need to figure out a way to hold the tank sturdy. So I think I'm going to build a uh, bracket that goes onto this piece here that just has a whoop. And uh, that way this tank has something to sit in. I'm also going to drill some holes. Uh, and that'll be for my uh, filler rods. Because i got to have a place for those. And then I'll put those guys kind of in here like that. And there'll be a hole in that plate. And I'll maybe put two holes in this bottom plate. Just to hold them steady so when i get these one pound rod uh, rod packs i can just throw them in there sounds simple sound like it might work we'll see because i need something to chain that tank down so uh, i'm gonna get cutting those up and uh hopefully we can finish this thing up soon okay so i made that plate uh that's gonna be the saddle we'll call it a saddle for our uh argon tank this is what it kind of looks like here um this is actually uh out of stainless uh no particular reason i just had some of the thickness that i wanted in stainless i didn't have any mild steel so i sacrificed some stainless for this uh hopefully uh, i'm not gonna regret that later i have three holes on each side i was gonna do two but i had the room for three so i am going to uh weld on a bracket to bolt it to the tank or to the to the chassis it's going to go on this piece of metal right here, and the tank is going to fit like that. So uh, it should work pretty well. Uh, this is the piece uh, that I'm going to weld to it. I'm going to jig it up here. Uh, a guy commented on one of my videos saying that I should lower my amps a little bit for stainless. Um, so I'm going to give that a shot, see what that works, uh, if that helps me out at all. Um, if not, I mean, I'm not too worried. No one's going to see this weld. Not too worried, but at least I get some more stainless practice in. So I got that welded up. Uh, welds looked a lot better. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know if it's because I dropped my amps a little bit or if, uh, if the th I find it easier welding thicker material because you can ramp up the amperage and you can kind of just go. Uh, the thinner stuff is where I kind of struggle a little bit. But I did lower the amps. I welded this at around uh, 100, 105. Um, and uh, it uh, turned out pretty freaking good, guys. For for me, that is like a 10 out of 10 for the welding I've done so far. Now, I may or may not show you this. Now, that is when you put down your stainless filler rod right next to a piece of aluminum filler rod. And you grab the wrong one. And you fire it in there. That's what that looks like. So, other than that, um, which I'm very embarrassed about, but whatever. Even what I uh, recouped with here didn't end up bad. They're a lot shinier than they used to be. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm proud of that, guys. Like That's that's a big improvement for me. So uh, I'm going to drill some holes on the welding cart, bolt this thing on, and we'll see how it looks after she's on. Well, guys, that turned out really, really well. Um, so I'll give you a look-see here. That's with the tank. These are my one-pound... Uh, rod holders like i said i got three on the other side for if i ever want to bulk up a little bit more or get some weird fancy ones i think that's where i'm going to end this video guys this project was a lot of fun it's pretty simple um i know i, I you probably noticed that this took me took me about three days i think i was in here three times working on this and uh really uh no more than i would say six hours maybe eight and that's me taking my time, going out, playing with my kids, cleaning up stuff, doing other things in between. So this really didn't take a lot of time. And like I said, I had the material. The only thing I needed to purchase was the front caster wheels. Uh, and those are eight bucks a piece at my local farm store, uh, farm supply store. So, I mean, really all in all, this thing did not cost me very much. Um, I mean, it's probably around a hundred bucks worth of material if you really want to look at it that way, but... I think it turned out really, really well. And like I said, I will be putting a side plate on here one day with a handle, but we're gonna wait for the CNC project to be done. And it's becoming storage already. And for an update on that, uh, you'll have to wait for my next video, but I did order my rack, uh, my pinion, rack and pinion gears for this thing. So they're on their way. So that'll be the next video for that one. And I'll put a card up here if you wanna see the build on that. It's also really close to race season. Uh, it is, what is it, it's March, March, uh, uh what is it march something it's march 
Uh, tracks around here usually open up May long. Uh, and by tracks around here, I mean I have to drive two hours in any direction to do any kind of racing. But I will get back onto the car projects. Because I need to get that out of my buddy's shop. He's moving. So I need to get that out of there and back into the trailer and back in here. Which is going to mean I have a lot less room to work. But we'll make do. So uh, yeah, I got to do a converter change. I want to do manual brakes and some other little things on there. But I'll show you those videos as they come. So anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. I uh, really appreciate you guys. I, as of this video, I noticed I was up at 70 subscribers. That is amazing. Um, my goal for 2021 was 100 subscribers. We're almost there. So uh, I gave myself a whole year thinking that that would tell how long it was going to take. So 70 as of right now is... I'm, I'm pumped. So thank you guys very much. And uh, yeah, subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below. Tell me if you see me doing something wrong or something I should improve. Um, if you do want to give me a thumbs down, go ahead, but tell me why in the comments. I really appreciate that so I can get better as I go. So anyways, thanks for stopping by guys and I'll see you on the next one.